mainstream media had never depicted gay people accurately in the first place, and certainly did not depict people with AIDS with any reality. For the most part, they just ignored it. And what's interesting, when you compare AIDS with COVID, you know, COVID is a collective public experience that we're all having on television, people are talking about it in their families. AIDS, on the other hand, was like our private nightmare. Our battle was to get it into the public, and that was the biggest fight. Brian White was a so-called innocent victim of AIDS. He wasn't gay or an intravenous drug user. He got the disease from a bad blood transfusion. A guilty victim was a person who had sex or used a needle. And an innocent victim was like a blood transfusion. Even when national news media, local news media, began to cover HIV AIDS and began to cover the queer communities experiencing this, it was often written through the lens of whiteness, through the lens of maleness, and through the lens of like straight family who was gonna be sad because their gay whatever died. Severe storms and droughts become the norm. And the topography of the land forever changes. And there is less and less fresh water available for drinking and for crops. Do the songs then only become cautionary tales? Yeah.